Hello, world of community. I'm Jackie Fox, and I am actually really excited. And, well, why am I so excited? Usually, by the time a unit comes out for global, <clears throat> there's already been, like, at least two sets of people who have done coverage. There's the JP people who are doing the coverage mainly for JP. And then there's the second wave that comes out like a month before Global gets a new unit or two weeks before where it's people who play JP but also make content um, in English more specifically for the global audience. They've already done like a how did it do after three months review. So there's very rarely anything new for a global content creator to get excited about and wow, they threw us a hell of a curveball. I was fully prepared to not be excited for Addison Ray. I've been prepared to not be excited for Addison Ray for quite some time now. Um, and then she was a light hundred cost unit and that just changed everything for me. And it only got better from there. I haven't seen her full kit yet, but it is on Woad of Calc. I didn't have a lot of time this morning. I ran through her event, which was kind of cute, kind of funny, and kind of gets summarized on her vision card. And now, let's talk about Addison Ray. So, I haven't looked at Addison Ray yet. I just got home recently, and after I ate, I got right into making this video, so I'm sorry if my thoughts aren't more condensed, if this is a little bit longer. And hello everyone who just skipped to this part of the video. I'm finally at Addison Ray. Aren't you excited? I hope you're excited, because I am excited. This is going to be Global's first free 100 cost light unit and I've got a little bit of a controversial opinion about her in one place and we're, we're gonna get into that but let's see what she does because I haven't seen what she does and I want to see what she does I'm really excited to see what she does so she can with her TMR which has a pretty decent start into both critical rate and defense she can, wow, in a very large uh, pattern, she can give allies the ability to dispel haste and increase critical rate by 30. So that could be pretty cool, um, especially countering, uh, again, obviously haste teams, which are kind of becoming more common. Um, also like uh, three TK teams, the three turn kill teams, especially when you've got like a really impactful buff. Um, also, you know, certain a lot of energists play this way as well. We'll see if she does in her kit, but this could be pretty cool is what I'm saying here. This is all of the stuff that you expect to see what she get in special in her master ability. Decrease chance of being targeted five. That I think is massive, especially if she is a very capable support. And I, I think that's how she, uh, yep, this seems like what we got. Uh, magic attack up 15 and slash resistance 10. Ooh, and uh, soul regram. All right, so let's actually let's look at her stats a bit i mean i haven't really had an opportunity to look at her at all <laughs> all right so she's already got some pretty good slash resistance she's going to be weak to pierce and strike decent missile resistance decent magic resistance so she does have slightly bigger weaknesses than a lot of units that we've seen recently but she has some pretty good resistances in addition to that um she also resists being stopped and paralyzed so she is you can't stop her from moving i guess you can stun her but she's probably still dancing i guess uh let's see Stat total... Okay. All right, excited about skills. So we have 12 defense and 12 magic resistance. That's fairly well-rounded, um, but also maybe a little all over the place. It depends on how you want to look at that. I think 12 spirit and 12 HP is certainly better from Blade Soul. 
uh, Gracious Groove, which is getting an upgrade here in a second, is going to be 24% magic and spirit penetration. So this actually feels like we could be getting into the ballpark of a modern DPS type. Oh, and then we get magic attack resistance penetration. So we're very close to like a modern DPS passive. Like I've been saying, like a Fuhrer's Wrath was the first that started this. I've talked about it on every DPS that we've had since and compared them to. And honestly, this compares to a lot of those other DPSs that I said didn't quite stack up to Bradley. And that's fucking impressive because she's pretty certainly not a DPS. Uh, this could be good. It kind of depends um, on how, how she is as a unit, but I do like this being kind of general. This could be good for her, but she also may not be like much. If she's not much of a damage dealer, this isn't going to be a big deal, but uh, I don't know. It feels like it would go well with this. Um, Blade Soul Lore gives her access to even more spirit penetration and Frickin' agility. So you almost always take up agility, I would have to say. Critical rate also looks good, so I'm, I'm thinking probably like this and this, which is 80 spirit penetration, 40 magic attack resistance penetration, 12 agility, 12 critical rate, and 24% magic. That's pretty great. Um, you could look, here's another one, 27% magic attack resistance plus 12 spirit and 12 defense, that's a thing you could do. I'm just telling you that you have options. I like a lot of her passives pretty well, but she does have pretty strong ones that make her seem a little bit more DPS-y. Let's see what the kit works out to be. <clears throat> okay, she has reflex. Switch step is a custom reflex. That's always good to hear. Preemptive Revenge is pretty powerful. It's always good to have like a preemptive damage counter, especially with their spirit penetration being as high as it is. I think this could be pretty tough, but it's definitely not as good as Reflex and Magic Reflex, even with its 20% proc rate. I just don't think you run that when you have a regular Reflex. Her basic skill, which has slightly low range, but is very spammable from the looks of it, gets rid of Courage. Major mark for her. Uh, Rhythmic Fake, decrease spirit by 30 for target, does decent damage, has good range, and it's a two hit move. <clears throat> I can see you turning this off, actually. Um, Unless you have some older units and you're trying to go for like an all magic composition or you're running uh, slightly off of what I would think her best passives are, I don't think there is really a case where she needs to decrease spirit by 30 with 80 spirit resistance. Those things just don't line up well. And I think that we're gonna see her have other abilities to her that are going to move us away from the types of teams that this might benefit. But again, it's my first look at her kit, so what do I know? 200% uh, dam uh, damage, single target, 100% chance move that gets upgraded to break magical barriers. That's quite powerful. Uh, that you don't turn off. I like that quite a bit. Barrier Bop reduces physical damage taken by 50, grants protect in... Okay, so that's gonna really harden her specifically because she's gonna have the physical damage barrier for three times uh, 50% on top of that 25% protect for three turns, which will likely outlast barrier bop but wow she's so which says that you almost certainly with a with a with a with a skill like that you almost certainly don't have to be using positive outlook this just this just became useless to me and also because of the way that these two stack into each other, I also think that this is probably a no as well. Mind-body unity, mage's protection, maybe if you want to stack spirit, 
um, which could, you know, if you have a, a high spirit and you have that skill, then you might be able to resist both a bit. Sorcerer's Shuffle. Oh, we've got an AoE move. Big boy AoE. Three casts. Decrease AoE resistance by 30. And if that lands, also decreases their attack and magic by 40. This is just a strictly better version of, I think, Magic Burst uh, from Celeste, and I absolutely love that move. And even though Celeste isn't really a damage dealer, I see her slap the shit out of people with it. So on a unit with 80 spirit uh, resistance penetration, I absolutely think this is a good boo. Okay, Soul Regram. Let's look at the upgraded version just to get its full wow factor. 200% um, chance ignore fatal damage for allies. So that's giving an ally courage. Any unit you want, but logically, and also just knowing how the AI works, it's going to be whatever unit starts the fight with hate or gets hate early, most likely. Um, in addition to giving them courage, though, when conditions are met, um, which is 20% HP, they get, I believe, 80% HP recovery, which is... He Wait, did I say 80%? Look, I'm... Swan Princess, I'm blaming you if this is wrong. You you sent me the thing. Um, thank you, by the way, to Swan Princess for watching. Oh, uh, shit. Actually, I can't even blame her. It just says L. Um, I'm guessing that that's as big or bigger than Snow. So essentially, this makes a unit everything that was really good about Snow all in one buff. But also, ignore sure hit for three turns for ally. So snow, but also evasive. Um, now, th this is complicated. This skill itself should be considered because it's it's going to be tricky, but I think it's really good. Um, it might not be as good as people think it is. It also might be better than people think it is. And I think that how you answer that question has almost nothing to do with Addison Ray. And this is the reason that I want to make this video. So stick around. Um, but let me look at the rest of the kit real quick. Performer, 25% chance to inflict disable. If disable, if disabled, uh, evasion rate down 50, spirit down 40. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, oh man. Usually I don't like these skills, but especially if she isn't terribly accurate or maybe if you have her guaranteed hit skill off, um, then she is gonna probably use this with startling regularity against evasion units that she can't otherwise hit. And while she can't hit them, she can likely disable them. And if she disables them, well, because of evasion rate down 50, anyone could probably hit them after that. Also, spirit down 40 is going to help your magic team. But once again, and, and I think this was the part that maybe kind of turned me off about this buff. Um, this just I I see you running her most likely with 80 spirit pen. So I'm not necessarily seeing why she needs to be able to decrease this much spirit in her kit. And then there's Take It Slow. Very close range. 165 mods, so not big damage. Decrease CT, 20x. Not huge. Um, I forget what this, well, Earth Staff for Kill Fae, I guess, is, is basically what this is, which is all right. This is not great. All right, Blade Soul. Um. Unfortunately, it looks like she did not get Banishing Barrier. I was hoping for Banishing Barrier, did not get Banishing Barrier. However, she did. 
I'm not really a slap. I'm not super excited about Sword Song Formation. You probably turn that off. Um, Magic Buster also seems like a bit of a waste when she can do that with her AoE skill. Slate Wiper was the move that I really wanted her to have. It's not huge damage, but um, it will dispel haste, which is cool. It will also dispel all buffs, physical or magical damage increases when uh, when getting a critical. So um, if you especially build her up to be a more critical heavy unit, she can she can do some pretty uh, cool offensive support with that skill. She also has another way to break magic barrier for target. And this is also going to do great big damage, pretty big range as well, and pretty good uh, CT restoration. It's going to be about fourth of a turn when she lands a critical hit. So lots of reasons to go for a critical build with her. But she already has go viral which is the same modifier, also breaks magic barriers. Huh. And because she has stuff like magic attack resistance penetration, she will probably more likely, even when she doesn't need this portion of the skill, use this skill then she would bamboo splitter. So I don't really, I, I do like this better in most situations. I would keep both of them on just in case she needs the uh, guaranteed hit, but I actually do slightly like this more outside of that scenario. So it's a good skill, I'm glad she got it. Red mage, fucking sucks. Except for jamming thrust, she did get jamming thrust. Holy shit, wait, why did that, six casts? Who did this? Uh, so we can cancel an ability activation, 200% damage, big boy damage. Unlike the last 200%, um, this is magic based, so probably more likely to use it. And it increased her spirit by 20 upon use. So great. Uh, oh, oh, 50% HP recovery. So this is snow. She turns people into snow. And then finally, we have a three hit 69 and uh, nice. Um, AOE skill that inflicts slow. 200% mod. Thank you so much to everyone for tuning in. You can like, subscribe, donate to the channel. There is a link tree in the description. Oh my god, I do so much so much content y'all i make games i write fantasy books i write more realistic books if you're looking for more of a drama thing just i do podcasts about human sexuality and health i do podcasts about just whatever i'm feeling like talking about if you just want to hear me talk about things there's tons of podcasts you can subscribe to I even have other youtube channels i leave that to you per to peruse at your leisure and you will find that once again in the description below i would like to thank everybody for tuning into this strategy session and see you in the next one